Okay, guys, so how to list on eBay in detail using a computer, not the app on your phone. Now, there's quite a few things you need to do before you start listing, in my opinion, um, but it is really, really simple. First of all, you've got to know your item. What have you got to sell? You want to know what's it worth. Now, quickest way to find out what anything's worth, go on eBay, search sold listings uh, for comparables. If you can't find anything that's in this sold, then go to current listings and see if there's any comparable. Um, if there's not, or you're not happy with the prices they're pulling or asking, set your own price. But you need to know what the item is. If you find this some selling, find out what keywords they're putting in their title to help boost your item up. Uh, and then obviously just set the price. So then you need to know, is it new, is it used? So if it's used, how old is it? Uh, if you know how old it is, then you need to know the condition. You need to know the size, you need to know the weight. Uh, why do you need to know the weight? Because you need to know your postage. So you need to know your postage price. Go to royalmail.com and do an estimate online. But I can tell you now, a small pass lending up to two kilos, you're talking four pounds second class recorded. There are other people you can use. Medium parcel, second class recorded up to two kilos, six pound, give or take a couple of pence. Um, then you want to prepare your images. You don't want to be doing your images mid listing. Now I've got a little photograph tent to show you and a couple of photos. Take a look at this. If I screen share now. Now, I normally just do my photographs. I'm normally a big believer in just taking photographs, put a bit of sheet down or a bit of paper down. But you see this photo got box there. Um, I've just bought one now with an LCD strip going across the roof. So there's no external lighting of any sorts, no tripods around you or nothing. It's simply just a box with the lights built into the box and they come in a variety of sizes with all the backdrops. Now take a look. This is an image that I would do normally to sell this item. This is a 1960s, 1970s brass farmer with a scythe. And that's the image I would normally use. Nothing wrong with the image. It will sell the item. It's clean, it's sharp, and the item stands out. However, wrong one. these are the images in the photo box. Look at the difference. Much cleaner, much brighter. Uh, no shadow. Everything about it just screams a better photo, better image. So these boxes are £40 on Amazon. So if you want to get one, then it will improve your listings. If you're going to sell regular, I suggest you get one. If you're not going to sell regular, then just take your photos as they are. Put a bed sheet down, a white bed sheet or something, and do your best with the photographs. But the one thing you need to do is the photographs need to be sharp and crisp, not blurry. Uh, show any flaws or condition. If it's got a chip or crack, you got to make sure that's clearly photographed. You allow 12 photographs per item. I suggest you use the 12. So should we take a little look at a listing? Okay, so we've come to my eBay. So all we have to do is hover over listings, click on create listing, which is the top one there. Then it's going to come here, tell us what you're selling. So now you need to know your title. So I'm going to put mid-century solid brass armor. I think that's spelled right. Get started. I'll do a spell check by the end of it. You got to make sure there's no spellings, mistakes. Okay, so you can automatically update. Oh, some have automatically been updated as in brass and ornaments. I'll leave them there. I do not want a subtitle, which is here. You can put a subtitle in, but that's £2.40 for a subtitle. I don't need my customs label. Category. Now, eBay will suggest categories for you. If you're not happy, you just click on browse the categories and find the one you want, or you can search through categories. Now, it's already selected met collectibles, metalweight, and brass figures and models. So I'm happy with that one. Shop category. You may not have a shop category, but for me, it's metalweight. You can sell multiples, but 
I'm not doing that. So condition used. Condi condition description. I suggest you fill in a condition description as well as putting it in your description. Then we come down to the images. Very simple, add photos. Now, I want those two. Add photos. I want that one. I tell you what, let's just highlight the four and then delete the ones I don't want because it's easier. I don't want that one. I don't want that one, and I don't want that one. So that's my main image. I'm very happy with my main image. So you come down here to item specifics. Now, it's already done as ornaments. Style period, I'm going to put that. Is it an option there? Uh, Art Deco, Modernist. you best if you can use one of the... Uh, If you can use one of theirs, but if you can't, just type one in. Original or repo, I'll do vintage. Where's original? Country manufacturer, this is UK. Primary materials, brass. Age, you're talking, it's post-1940. Uh, modified item, no. So if you can fill in everything, even if it's glass and you have to type in clear. Then a description. That's as simple as it is. Uh, on off here is a solid brass ornament figure of a farmer out with his scythe, cut in his crop. Real nice example with some good details. Condition is used, but good, no damage. Size approximately eight and a half inches tall. Now, I don't go for the hard sell. I don't want to start saying, oh, it's a stunning figure, this, it's beautiful land. It's... I try and keep it simple, but still appealing. Come down. Now, I want fixed price. Because I, I do everything as a shop. But if you want auction, you just select, au select auction here. And then fill in 7 or 10 days. Your start price here. If you want it to schedule here, but you've got to pay for schedule. Um, and then we'll move on in a minute. But I don't want auction. I want fixed price. Fixed price is automatic now. Good till cancelled. Uh, I don't want a schedule. Now, my buy up now price for this will be £20. Uh, I will let buyers make me an offer, which is this here. You have to make sure that is ticked. You can select to automatically reject offers if you wish underneath or automatically accept offers. I don't do that. I like all offers to come to me. I'm not charging VAT. Quantity. So you can list as many as you want. If you've got 10 of these, you just type in 10 by here. You can sell as a lot or you can sell as individual. Allow buyers to remain anonymous. I don't do that. Donate a percentage of your sale to charity. I give enough to charity regularly, uh, so I don't do that. Then you got your payment options. PayPal, you gotta have a PayPal account. So PayPal, and you enter your email address. Um, and I also take credit cards. I have a credit card machine, but you won't. You can tick any of these you like, personal checks, bank drafts, and so on, but Really, you only need PayPal. Every payment I have comes through PayPal. Returns, I'm a business, so I have to accept returns. 30 days, buyer pays return postage. Now, I don't actually ship worldwide. Um, 
we haven't got a postage yet. We we're doing postage now. So local delivery or domestic delivery, as it's called here, is flat rate shipping to all buyers. And I'll actually change this as it's going. This is going to be less than two kilos packed. Don't forget to add in the packed weight. Uh, so the weight of the box and the packing. So that may knock you over. If your item is 1,900 grams and you've got a 400 gram box, that takes you up over two kilos. If you want to use a post office, then that would take you to parcel force 48, which is nearly enough 14 pounds. Or you could do it online, second class recorded, up to 20 kilos for a tenner. But you can't do that in the post office. If it goes over two kilos in the post office, they can't offer you second class. So you can offer local collection, uh, your dispatch time. Now, I tend to ship same day or the following day, but I allow two working days just in case. Now, I don't do international shipping. But all you have to do is flat rate or you can set up a template um, and your parcel size and so forth and your customs. I don't do international. I'm only doing UK. You can sell it fast and promote your item. Uh, if I was to do that, eBay would take 3.8% of the sale price. Um, but they would promote the item and boost it for sales. Multiple buys, so you can click on this if you like. If they buy one item, it's no discount. If they buy two items, you set the discount to whatever you want, any percentage. Uh, if they buy three, you can set that, or if they buy four. I'm not interested in doing that. And then you just come down and list with displayed fees. And we wait in now, and there you go. It's successfully listed, so I'm going to open it up. So this is the item listed for twenty pounds. Nice clear images. Look at the images there. No shadows. Absolutely stunning images. Nice details. That will sell the item. Good pictures. Nice simple but appealing description. There we go. That's it, guys. It is as simple as that. And then on to the next one. Just repeat the same process. Now, I've actually been asked to make this video. So hopefully, um, it'll do what you want. <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.